Today's review is from a knife loaned to me from my friends at White Mountain Knives at whitemountainknives.com. Whenever you get a chance, check them out. Fantastic customer service, great selection of knives, and great prices. That's whitemountainknives.com. Hey guys, Joe here again on this beautiful Memorial Day 2015. Absolutely beautiful day out in New Jersey. And I'm here with you with a quick knife overview. I must say I've been very excited to bring you this knife today. This is just an absolutely gorgeous knife. It is the Spyderco Pits, which the Pits, P-I-T-S, stands for Pie in the Sky. So let's get right into it and start off with the usual. I'll show you the box. Your classic, like we all know, classic Spyderco box. There you go. Model number C192TIP. Okay, let's go back a little bit. All right, let's take it out. Now, I've had it out of the box already, but to show you the presentation. Now again, I can't give you the the sharpness. I have wasn't. I'm not allowed to cut with this, or I should say, I'm not going to cut with this because this is a loner, so it's got to go back. So let's get the box out of the way. All right, now we can zoom back in, and here it is, Spyderco Pits. Little odd name, but show you a little around it. Slight around it first, and then I'm going to tell you some some information about it. So let's open it up. Okay, while I have it open, the blade is just a shade under three inches, 2.97 inches. It's a clip point flat ground blade. The steel is N690CO. I believe. The last Spyderco slip joint that I um, that I um, reviewed, which was the Rody, also is made of the same steel. I'll put that review in the upper right corner for those of you who haven't seen it yet. The handle is titanium handle. Now the weight is listed at 3.4 ounces, but I gotta say it. It, it feels lighter. It's a beautiful, beautiful feel in the hand. But I'll show you that too in the hand. I'm just going over some more. Made in Italy, of course. I'm Italian. Good stuff comes from Italy. I know. I'm just riding that Italian. But anyway, <laughs> this is a collaboration between Spyderco and a gentleman named Mike Reed. And you'll see because his name, his, his initials are right there. Let's see if we can get the, the Italy thing. Get that to come on camera. I don't know, am I, am I getting it? There you go. As I said before, it's a it's a slip joint. Now it has a wire clip, which I I'm a fan of. I, I read a lot of people do not like wire clips, but I do. I don't know, there's just something about them. As you can see, it definitely deep carry. I mean, there's like almost absolutely nothing that's going to be showing sticking out of the pants. And, and can be on both sides. I love the way the handle is milled, the way the, for, you know, for cutting weight. It's absolutely gorgeous. show you I want to show you this up close you can see this part actually pops up hopefully I'm getting that let me see if I can kind of zoom in a little bit more no let's fade back a little bit there you go 
you can see as I move it, pops open. The centering, I don't know, for some reason, I guess the camera must be on vacation because it's all there because the camera is not cooperating, but hopefully that's getting there. The camera, I mean the camera, the blade is perfectly centered. Uh, let's see, before we move on to what I like and don't like, I did mention the sizes, but I want to show you against my trusty dollar size comparison. It's not a big knife. It's not small either. Not like the not like, not like the roadie. Let's move that out of the way. I closed it too soon. Let me show you in the hand. I like the way it feels in the hand. And because of it being milled out like this, it, it, like I said, it, it's it's nice and light. And the material being titanium makes it even lighter still. Like if this was stainless steel, this would be a heck of a lot heavier. This knife is absolutely gorgeous. But, to, like anything in life, there are positives and negatives. Positives, beautiful. Like I said, it's a, it's a very strong slip joint, but that can be a positive and a negative. But I'll explain that in a second. Um, great materials. Uh, again, like, because I can't cut anything with it, but it does feel pretty sharp. And I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but Spyderco rarely disappoints. Always sharp. And I don't have my cloth handy, so now I can't wipe that smudge off. But I thought I was prepared. All right, now. Two negatives, which this one I said might not be. I did just got finished saying it's a strong slip joint. Well, that could also be a negative. It's not easy to open with one hand. Now, if you're a person that doesn't open knives with one hand, no big deal. I like opening knives with one hand. Now, you saw me just do it, but I've already opened and closed this knife I don't know how many times. So maybe I'm breaking it in, maybe this is just the way it is, I don't know. But I'm going to try to do it in one motion, you can see. And I don't like the way, in order for me to do it with my right hand, I feel like, I don't know, my fingers are moving across this, the wire clip, and it just doesn't feel right. But that's, again, a little, a small negative. Now, the one and only really big negative. This knife sells for two hundred and fifty dollars now slip to, to buy a slip joint and by the way I didn't mention this this little this little looks like it's a flipper here it's not it doesn't flip you can't open it that way two hundred and fifty dollars for a slip joint knife that alone is probably gonna shy a lot of people away from this knife it breaks my two hundred dollar rule if you've seen any of my other videos I've mentioned that, you know, so far in all the years of uh, collecting, I uh, refuse to go over $200, and already at $250, you might say, oh, come on, Joe, $250, it's only $50 more, or maybe get it for $245, $240. Still, I don't know, there's just something about $250 for a, a slip joint just doesn't seem right. And I know, you know, I'm sure there's a market for this. I'm sure that, you know, Spyderco is probably not you know, doing bad with selling this knife, but I can just imagine the sales they would make if this knife was like, I don't know, I'm not going to be crazy cheaper, but let's just say a buck fifty. Would I buy this knife at a hundred fifty? Heck yeah. Even though really a slip joint for me, well no, non-licking, non-licking, <laughs> excuse me, non-locking uh, a system, you know, uh, it should be, in my opinion, you know, it's just my opinion, should be cheaper. You know, still though, 150 this knife is worth it. It's absolutely gorgeous. You, you really have to hold it to appreciate it, the, the, the lightness of it, the beauty of it. But as it stands, $250 for this knife. As, and unless I happen to get a great deal on this someday or happen to, you know, hit the lottery. 
I'm not going to have this knife in my collection. Unfortunate. And it's very unfortunate. This is a very, very nice knife. I don't know why this camera is not cooperating with the focusing. Evidently, Mr. Reed's middle name must be Jay. I don't know it offhand. I'm going to put a, a bunch of comments in the description about everything about uh, Mr. Reed and the type of steel and how this, you know, this came about, the, coll the collaboration between him and uh, Spyderco. And also maybe, I think there's even a little mini story about why it's called uh, Pie in the Sky, because the PID stands for Pie in the Sky. But I want to show it to you, and I want to wrap it up one last time closed. Both sides. And then one last time open. Absolutely beautiful. If only it was a little bit more affordable. I love the way this, I mean, I don't know the technical term for this, you know, this slip joint right here, but the way it, it, it moves as you, I think I got it good on camera that time. I don't know what the heck that noise is. Beautiful. So there you have it. The Spider Co. Pits stands for Pie in the Sky. Hope you enjoyed my review. And uh, please, uh, I haven't mentioned this in like maybe the last dozen videos, but uh, please like, share, do what you got to do. <laughs> do. Was it? Do the necessary, do the needful. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, everyone.